2021 may be reclassified to the year of the turf as four local schools now have turf facilities for game and practice facilities. Earlier this week, I had the chance to tour new facilities at Bath, Ada, and Stadium Park in Delphus. All three have such unique qualities to their parks. Ada was the first to commit to turf in early 2021. War Memorial Stadium has undergone an extensive facelift with new bleachers added on the visitor side and talk of some renovation to the home side. The new turf is an added caveat to first-year head coach Toby Smith's new regime. Well, I mean, like I said, all you got to do is look at it. I mean, it's 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 a beautiful facility, and, and the Parks Department and the city of Ada have decided to uh, put the money into this for, in for a reason. we got the new visitors, bleachers as well. They're talking about the home side getting an upgrade as well. I mean, it, it, it's really a diamond in, the, diamond in the rough here as far as being in the surrounding areas. At Bath, the surface has already been put to use with games, practices, and marching bands. It's a game changer to have this additional facility at the Wildcats' disposal. Yeah, it's really nice to just utilize this. The field is already lined and organized, so we're going to try to practice on it as much as we can. But weeks that we you know, play on the, on the grass surface, we're going to get out on our practice field and, and use that as much as we can on those weeks. But if we can be out here, we're going to use it, and uh, we'll share it with some other teams, the soccer team's on it, the band's on it. So it's really just nice for the, the whole entire community to utilize uh, the field. And, and get on it as much as we can. Liberty Benton also went the turf route over the summer. The Eagles not only added a turf facility, they've also done a track resurface and added a field house to their already impressive campus. Turf was once a pipe dream in Delphus at Stadium Park, but when the talk of Jefferson and St. John's playing each other in regular season football came about, St. John's coach Todd Schulte said, quote, we may as well play each other on turf, end quote. A couple of weeks later, Champions Field LLC was formed, including members of both schools' communities. The surface has taken Stadium Park to a whole new level. Both schools and both school communities were on board, and you know we, we have supporters uh, that helped us out to make this this just dream a reality that that are on in both school communities. So um, it, it was for sure a community project, um, you know. And I think as more people see the things that take place out here, you know, we we had uh, the first Friday night we. We had varsity soccer playing on that Saturday afternoon. We had our youth football teams out here playing, and then we ended up with, with the varsity football game. And, uh, you know, I came out here the other night, and we got flag football. There's probably 50 kids on this field doing flag football. And it's, you know, we just want it to be used every night. And, and it truly is something that the community can be proud of, not just now, but many, many years to come. And, and that's what we want it to be is, is a focal point for our community. There's talk of other schools going the turf route. Shawnee has a capital campaign in progress to renovate Shawnee Stadium, possibly as soon as 2022. And with many others in the area already on turf, it makes you wonder who's next. From a turf facility near you, Aaron Matthews, Sports Report.